Bad time. This week of Bungie, 8 13 2020. This was last night. Uh, we kicked off Solstice of Heroes. If you're anything like us, you're probably neck deep in majestic armor, smashing through the Solstice of Heroes event. Our yearly celebration of Guardians near and far has begun. Solar, Arc, and Void have each taken a turn in the daily rotation of elemental damage. A few of you have already completed the majority of the objectives towards your first magnificent armor set and are already off to the races on your alternate classes. Uh, tomorrow, today, Trials of Osiris will return at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Seven wins might be all that's standing between you and your magnificent glow. Form your fire team, grab your bounties, and get ready for a fight. Before we uh, get deeper into the TWAB, we've been seeing some questions on rewards for Solstice 2020 in comparison to years past. Let's take a moment to clear up some confusion. Last year, a legendary sparrow was available to anyone who fully masterworked every armor piece for all three classes. We got quite a bit of feedback that this felt a little too grindy for a limited time event. This year, we shifted focus to the individual Solstice of Heroes sets that you'll be investing time in over the next few weeks. Or you know, three days, because some of us are already done. Rather than a single reward after completing the armor on all three characters, we're providing a free glow when earning the magnificent armor sets per class. Additionally, we're seeing some players asking why magnificent armor isn't fully masterworked when earned. See, this is my issue with this. This year, our approach was to give players a new path to earn high stat rolled armor pieces outside of raids. As these armor sets have a max power cap of 1360, they'll also have a lifespan that lasts through multiple seasons. So are they saying that the reason why we got masterworked items in years past is because they were only good for a month? Is that what they're saying? Because, wow, Bungie. Wow. Uh, end result, players can spend their time finding that perfect role through Solstice packages for the duration of Solstice of Heroes. Even after the event has concluded, players can masterwork their armor pieces at their leisure and finish up some of their final majestic objectives to unlock their glow. <clears throat> Those are beautiful armor sets. I love them. I really do. They're great. As a final note, obtaining majestic armor sets will grant progress bonuses on your other classes. So if you're like me and got your Magnificent Hunter set ready, or if you're like Diver and all three are ready, but your Warlock was first, you'll have a two times progress, or progress bonus for your next character's renewed and majestic armor objectives. Once you finish that character up, your third and maybe final character will have a three times progress bonus for armor objectives. Pretty sweet, huh? With this change compared to last year's event, we're expecting to see more players getting all three sets. We'll be watching the conversation for the duration of the event, so be sure to sound off with feedback as you fly through the EAZ. So yeah, when I um, completed it on my Warlock, I was able to go do the armor sets on my Hunter, and I had to do half as much stuff, so 50 kills in... Um, crucible and like what four strikes instead of no, no no three strikes instead of five um i think five gamut matches instead of ten and then i only needed four gamut matches on the titan so pretty easy stuff thank god so start with your favorite character so you can actually enjoy playing the game <laughs> that's that's my strategy i'm glad i started with the warlock bungie foundation update it's hard to believe that Bungie Day was a month ago. Time is flying by. We've been eager to give an update from the Bungie Foundation concerning the empathic ghost shell and the Bungie Foundation, Foundation emblem charity initiatives that were available. Senior Foundation Manager Christine Edwards is here today to share the details. Christine says, Last month we celebrated Bungie Day, a beloved tradition that celebrates the best of our community, the camaraderie, the competition, and the care we all have for one another. This year, we invited you to incorporate charitable giving into your festivities, and you all stepped up in a big way. We unlocked two unique ways to participate, first through direct donations, and second through in-game purchases in the Eververse store. Because of each of you, we raised $602,204.31 in donations, and $555,639.06 from the em empathetic ghost shell. For a whopping total of, wowza, $1,157,843.37. I like the, the change that they add on to it. Good morning, John. Every single dollar will go directly to helping kids in children's hospitals across the country by bringing them engaging 
digital entertainment that will brighten their day, make their treatments a little bit more bearable, and will remind them that even during hard times, their number one job is to play, smile, and be a kid. I 100% agree. We talk about this on Coffee Talk a lot when we talk about social issues. Kids should not be privy to the problems that we adults bring into the world. And I love that they say their number one job is to play smile and be a kid and their parents should keep them safe and happy. Parental problems should not be child problems. Thank you, Bungie, for saying that. As the parent of one of our patients put it, iPads for kids has made the experience more like home. It has helped keep King engaged and distracted from the pain. Uh, Another parent told us, Draven is three years old and has been in the hospital for ATRT in his brain since December 29th, 2019. Draven just loves the iPad. It has helped him in so many ways. When he cries and we give him the iPad, he stops crying. There's been times where he will fall asleep playing the iPad. I hope Apple has provided one hell of a discount for this. I, I would like to see that as a partnership, but we're not yet seeing that. Oh. Each one of you has given generously to the iPads for Kids program over the past few years, has played a direct role in creating smiles, hope, and laughter for kids like King and Draven, along with hundreds of thousands of other kids just like them. Thank you. Time and time again, you come together to show the world what guardians stand for. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being one of the best communities in the solar system. Feeling fashionable? With some new majestic armor sets in the game, we'd be crazy if we didn't host another fashion show. For those new to the conversation, this is Apollo's community should totally rock this out when, when he does his fashion show. Like, get, get snapshots and tweet this stuff out. For those new to the conversation, every so often we challenge players to strut their stuff in the wilds of Destiny 2, mixing shaders, armor pieces, exotics, and ornaments to find the perfect set, and bonus points to those who find the perfect destination for their photo shoot. If you are selected, you'll walk home with a fancy emblem for your troubles. Solstice is a celebration, and we're excited to highlight your fashion sense. Glow up, embrace your arc solar or void side, and send some screenshots to at Bungie on Twitter with the hashtag Solstice Fashion Show. We'll be retweeting winners through Thursday, August 20th. I'm going to actually put this on a timer. I keep meaning to do this, and I keep forgetting. Still working on your first armor set, Jody John. What do you have left to do? Now, it wouldn't be a fashion show without theming. Players must be wearing at least one Solstice of Hero armor piece, renewed, majestic, or magnificent. No glows are required. Players must take a picture on any destination to qualify. In other words, an image of your guardian in the character inspection screen won't be considered. And uh, what are you waiting for? It's time. Go do it. Go do it! We're going to actually copy this whole thing. <clears throat> Dusted with Solstice fresh on the mind, player support has been diving deep in the help forums, looking for fresh issues to diagnose, missing bright dust on bounties, inconsistent objective progress, and a few other minor issues have been discovered. This is their report. Missing emblem contact form. Players can be eligible to receive Destiny 2 emblems by winning Bungie community contests, purchasing items in the Bungie store, or by donating to one of Bungie Foundation's charity campaigns. Sometimes players don't receive their emblem for one reason or another, so we've created a specific contact form to help them obtain their emblem. We will help players with emblem issues from the following contests or campaigns. Bungie Bounty for Aurora Clash, Movie of the Week, uh, Outstanding Artists, Fashion Show, Bungie Store, and Bungie Foundation or Charity Drive. So if you do win the fashion show, there's a chance you may have to go beg for your emblem. Before requesting help through the contact form, please note players must wait at least 15 days from a qualifying contest, win, or charity campaign. Players should first check their spam or junk email folder for any emails that may have their emblem code. And players should check their collections, flare, and then general section for the emblem. So check your your collections. Uh, For more information on the various emblem contests and campaigns, as well as how to request help, Please see our guide for Bungie Contest Emblems article and missing emblem contact form. Solstice Bounties and Bright Dust. Shortly after Solstice of Heroes launched, Destiny player support became aware of an issue where weekly and repeatable bounties for the event were not giving Bright Dust as intended. We are currently investigating solutions to the issue. We are also investigating a solution for those who missed out on earning Bright Dust from these bounties during this time and will be granting Bright Dust to affected players as soon as we can. You can continue to complete and redeem your Solstice of Heroes bounties normally. 
Known issues? Well, we continue investigating various known issues. Here's a list of the latest issues that were reported to us in our help forum. We are aware of an issue where Gambit Prime will not count for Solstice Armor with Gambit Objectives. Uh, if that happens to you guys, I recommend restarting the game. That sometimes helps. We did have that issue happen in Crucible the other day, and none of us restarted. It just started counting for the next game. So mess around with it a little bit. We are aware of an issue where Nightfall, the Ordeals, will not count for Solstice Armor with Strike Objectives. Um, reports of doubled progression progress on Solstice Objectives were not working for some players. Uh, Majestic Solstice Bond for Warlocks has an objective that incorrectly states to get 150 Guardian Super Kills. The objective progresses correctly with Arc Super Kills against any enemy. Uh, shaders do not properly apply to the Majestic and Magnificent Robes for Warlocks. Of course. Uh, and shaders do not properly apply to Majestic and Magnificent Cloaks for Hunters. Fascinating. For a full list of emergent issues in Destiny 2, players can review the Known Issues article. Players who observe other issues should report them to the help forum. Do, 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 do. We'll look at the movies of the week in a moment. This is one of those weeks where DMG is staying up past midnight to get some sweet loot. It's been nice jumping through older adventures while completing a solstice armor or finishing orb requirements through random activities like raids or zero hour. No matter what you play, you'll gain progress towards an objective or two. Longer goals like play 10 gambit matches. Uh, he's been doing it at his own pace. A few matches here or there, then shifting to something else to keep things fresh. We went and just farmed Gambit. That's what we did. <laughs> the first Gambit team we did, uh, the enemy, I think, won all 10 matches because we were farming and throwing. And we were working on so many things while doing Gambit. So it wasn't just Gambit. Uh, no matter what you play, you'll gain progress towards an objective or two. Longer goals. Okay, we already went that through that. For some of you, this is a race. For others, it's a nice stroll through memory lane. However... You're tackling Solstice. However you're tackling Solstice, Bungie hopes you're having fun. Have a great weekend, and they'll see you again soon.